Hello, this is Dan Dutton from eWritable.com and in this video I'm going to be looking at the handwriting to text conversion feature on four popular e-ink brands. They are Books, Kindle, Remarkable and Supernote. First up, Remarkable. Let's start by giving it some handwriting to convert. To convert the handwriting to text, tap on the export button followed by convert to text. Wait a moment and then a new page will be added to your notebook with text instead of handwriting. The page with your handwriting is still there and you can choose to keep it or delete it. If the text isn't 100% accurate, you can edit it manually directly from the Remarkable tablet. What about if you have multiple pages that you want to convert? Let's add another page of handwriting. Now tap the page overview button and long press each of the pages that you want to convert. Then tap the convert button. A new page is added to your notebook with the converted handwriting from the original pages. To transfer the text into other apps, you can email it to yourself. Tap the export button followed by send by email. Then select the recipients and change the format to text in email. On your computer, you can then copy and paste the text from your email into other apps such as Word. The first thing to note about the Supernote is that handwriting to text conversion only works with real-time recognition notebooks. This is a setting that you select when you first create your notebook and cannot be changed later. Again, let's give it some handwriting to convert. We tap the recognition button, which looks like a capital A, and almost instantly the handwriting is converted to text. We can then export the text into either a text or docx file, which is stored on the tablet in the export folder. Let's add another page of handwriting to see what happens if we want to convert multiple pages of handwriting into text. So that's two pages of handwriting, and when we tap the recognition button, we can swipe between each page of converted text. And when we tap to export, we can select which pages are converted into the text or docx file. The file is stored in the export folder on the Supernote and can be transferred to other devices in several ways including cloud sync, USB cable, local network transfer, and even email. First of all, let's add some handwriting. Then we tap the AI button followed by the option for text recognition. After a few moments, the converted text is displayed and the tablet gives us several options. If there are any inaccuracies in the conversion, then we can edit the text. There's an option to set the scope of the recognition so that we can choose how many pages it will convert at one time. You can also choose the language used for handwriting recognition. By default, English, US and Chinese are installed, but you can add other language packs. By clicking on the export button, you can export the file as PNG PDF or text format. The file is saved in the notes folder at the root of the Android file system. You can also share the file with other installed apps such as an email attachment or an attachment in OneNote. And you can share the file with others by uploading it to the Books Cloud and generating a QR code which they can use to access it. 
you can copy the converted text to the clipboard and then paste it into any other app. Just do a long press in any text area and tap paste. Another option is to insert the text directly into the page. However, this creates a bit of a mangled mess between your handwriting and the converted text. A better option is to create a new layer just for the converted text. Then you can show or hide the handwriting or the text as you require. It's worth noting that the copy and insert text options only work for one page, whereas the rest of the options work for the whole notebook. The final two choices give you a lot more editing options before you export or share. If you tap the original button, then the converted text will try to be as close as it can to the original layout and structure of your handwriting. However, text converted using this method cannot be exported as a text file. In contrast, if you tap the reflow button, you can save as a text file but the layout and structure may not be retained. Again, let's start by adding some handwriting. And then we tap somewhere near the top of the screen to bring up the menu and tap the export button. We can choose to share just the current page or the entire notebook. And there are two options. One is to convert to text and quick send to yourself, and the other is to convert to text and email somebody else.